Stop Motion Explosion Animator is a new frame grabber app for Windows that supports HD video sources, the ability to import and export individual animation frames, onion skinning, and a bunch of other features. First, make sure that you've plugged your camera into the computer. When the application starts, you'll see two windows. The window on the right is the video preview window, and the window on the left is the control panel. If you have an internal camera in your computer, you'll need to select the correct video source by clicking Camera Source in the Options menu. When you see an image from your animation camera, you can adjust the camera image by clicking Options, Capture Controls. Secondly, you can adjust the camera resolution by clicking Camera Resolution. When the camera image looks the way you want it to, click the Start button. First, you'll need to give your animation a name, so I'm going to type in My Animation. Then, since I want to make an AVI video file, I'll leave this field as it is. Then, click Save. Right away, you'll see that the frame counter has changed to 1 because you've captured one frame of the animation. To continue animating, click the grab button. When you've captured a few frames, you can click the play button to preview them. You can change the playback speed by adjusting the frame rate in this drop down menu. If you need to delete frames, move the slider to the position of the frame that you wish to delete and click the delete button. There are two ways to compare the last frame to the current camera image. One way is by clicking the live button. This will show the last frame. The second way to preview a frame is with the onion skinning button. This overlays the camera image over the last frame captured. You can adjust the amount of onion skinning with this slider. Finally, when the animation is done, click Make Movie to save your work as a movie file. Here you can choose the type of file that you wish to export, the video codec, and adjust the quality of the video with this slider. Now that we've saved a video file, let's take a look at the files that we've created. First, there's a folder that contains all the frames we captured while animating. Secondly, there is the exported movie file. In part 2, we'll be taking a look at importing previously captured frames into Stop Motion Explosion Animator. For more animation tutorials, be sure to check out stopmotionexplosion.com slash content hub.